if animals are left in standing water for, for a long period of time, they're probably going to be more prone to skin infections or skin diseases. And, and one thing that, that can cross that, that skin barrier when the skin's damaged are clostridial organisms. So things like tetanus in particular. Then if you're in a, in a coastal area and they're stranded in water with high salt levels, for example, there could be some digestive upset associated with that, maybe a little bit of de dehydration that accompanies that. So there are definitely some health conditions that would, that would be more likely to occur following a, a disaster like that. But when the fences go down and the animals get out, then they have access to all kinds of things that we maybe don't want them to have access to that they don't normally have access to, whether it be toxic plants or stored chemicals on the farm that, uh, that may have spilled during the storm. So there's definitely the potential for them to get into a lot of things that they wouldn't normally have access to. Aside from checking the animals, making sure that there are no life-threatening injuries that occurred during the storm, probably the most important thing to do is to get feed and fresh water in front of those livestock as soon as possible following the storm. Your average cow probably drinks about 15 to 25 gallons of water a day. And it's going to be higher than that if, if it's really hot outside or if you have lactated animals, they're going to have higher water requirements. In the unfortunate event that, that animals do die, and, and unfortunately it, it does happen, Alabama does have certain rules that govern how we dispose of deceased livestock. So in most places it would be acceptable to bury that animal. In some situations you can take them to a landfill. Another option is the we do have four diagnostic labs located throughout the state. We have one in Auburn, one in Elba, one in Hansville, and one in Boaz. And animals could potentially be taken there for disposal as well. The Alabama Department of Ag and Industries is who regulates how we dispose of deceased livestock in Alabama. So they would be the ones to, to, to ask about their, their particular location.